just going to tell you about some of the places and reasons why it was banned or challenged. In 2007 in Boston, it was challenged on accounts of witchcraft and sorcery. From 2005 to 2007 in Gwinnett, Georgia, it was challenged for indoctrinating children into paganism, witchcraft, demonic activity, murder, and blood sacrifice. In 2003, the Pope challenged it on accounts that it eroded Christianity in the soul, and in Moscow in 2002, it was challenged for instilling religious extremism. So I'm just going to read you some passages from the book. I speak now, Harry Potter, directly to you. You have permitted your friends to die for you rather than face me yourself. I shall wait for one hour in the forbidden forest. If at the end of that hour you have not come to me, have not given yourself up, then the battle recommences. This time I shall enter the fray myself, Harry Potter, and I shall find you. And I shall punish every last man, woman, and child who has tried to conceal you from me. One hour. Like rain on a cold window, these thoughts pattered against the hard surface of the incontrovertible truth, which was that he must die. I must die. It must end. Um, this really shows that Harry is standing up for his friends, and he is willing to take the blame because it will help his friends survive, basically, and that is a good moral to have in life. But he wasn't. Hogwarts was the first and best home he had known. He and Voldemort and Snape, the, ab the abandoned boys, had all found home here. This, I think, talks to some people who don't have proper homes, and it tells them that you don't have to have a proper home. Anywhere where you're loved and you fit in, that is where you should be, and that will be your home. And then, he, he rummaged in the pouch hung around his neck and pulled out the two halves of Holly, still just connected by the finest thread of Phoenix feather. Hermione had said that they could not be repaired, but the damage was too severe. All he knew was that if this did not work, nothing would. He laid the broken wand upon the headmaster's desk, touched it with the very tip of the elder wand, and said, Repair it. As his, as his wand was sealed, red sparks flew out of its end. Harry knew that he had succeeded. He picked up the holly and phoenix wand and suddenly and felt a sudden warmth in his fingers, fingers, as though wand in hand were rejoicing at their reunion. I'm putting the elder wand, he told Dumbledore, who was watching him with enormous affection and admiration. Back where it came from, it can stay there. If I die a natural death like Ignotus, its power will be broken, won't it? The previous master will never have been defeated. That'll be the end of it. Well, Harry, in this instance, Harry um, is talking about he has the option to use the most powerful wand in the world, but he is deciding not to because in the future it will save a lot of lives from being destroyed. And this is an act of kindness because he won't even know these people, but he's saving so many lives in that um, act in his actions. And another reason why this book should not be banned is under the First Amendment, um, it should not be allowed to be banned under accounts of paganism and eroding Christianity in the soul because there is freedom of religion and freedom.